Sir Mario Lemieux, OC, CQ is a Canadian former professional ice hockey player. He played parts of 17 seasons with the National Hockey League's Pittsburgh Penguins between 1984 and 2006. In 1999, he bought the Penguins and their top minor league affiliate, the American Hockey League's Wilkes Bar Scranton Penguins, out of bankruptcy, and is currently the team's principal owner and chairman. He is widely acknowledged to be one of the best players of all time. A gifted playmaker and fast skater despite his large size, Lemieux often beat defensemen with fakes and decks. Lemieux led Pittsburgh to two consecutive Stanley Cups in 1991 and 1992. Under his ownership, the Penguins won a third cup in 2009. He is the only person to have his name on the cup as both a player and an owner. He also led Team Canada to an Olympic gold medal in 2002, a championship at the 2004 World Cup of Hockey, and a Canada Cup in 1987. He won the Lester B. Pearson Award as the most outstanding player voted by the players four times, the Hart Trophy as the NHL's most valuable player during the regular season three times, the Art Ross Trophy as the league's points leader six times, and the Conn Smythe Trophy in 1991 and 1992. At the time of his retirement, he was the NHL's seventh-ranked all-time scorer with 690 goals and 1,033 assists. He ranks second in NHL history with a 0.754 goals per game average for his career, behind only Islanders great Mike Bossy. In 2004, he was inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame. Lemieux's career was plagued by health problems that limited him to 915 of a possible 1,428 NHL games. His numerous ailments included spinal disc herniation, Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic tendonitis of a hip flexor muscle, and chronic back pain so severe that other people had to tie his skates. He retired two different times over the course of his career due to these health issues, first in 1997 after battling lymphoma, and for a second and final time in 2006, after being diagnosed with an atrial fibrillation. He also missed the entire 1994-95 season due to Hodgkin's lymphoma. Despite his lengthy absences from the game, his play remained at a high level upon his return to the ice. He won the Hart Trophy and scoring title in 1995 a Euro 96 after sitting out the entire previous season, and he was a finalist for the Hart when he made his comeback in 2000. The Hockey Hall of Fame inducted Lemieux immediately after his first retirement in 1997, waiving the normal three-year waiting period. Upon his return in 2000, he became the third Hall of Famer to play after being inducted. Lemieux's impact on the NHL has been significant. Andrew Conti of the Pittsburgh Tribune Review called him the savior of the Pittsburgh Penguins, and after Lemieux's retirement, Wayne Gretzky commented that you don't replace players like Mario Lemieux. The game will miss him. Bobby Orr called him the most talented player I've ever seen. Orr, along with Brian Trottier and numerous fans, speculate that if Lemieux had not suffered so many issues with his health, his on-ice achievements would have been much greater. Early years, Lemieux was born in Montreal to Pirate, a stay-at-home mum, and Jean Guy Lemieux, an engineer. He and his older brothers Alain and Richard grew up in a working-class family in the Villa Permil Mar district. Mario began practicing hockey at age three in his basement. Before using real equipment, he and his brothers used wooden kitchen spoons as hockey sticks and bottle caps as pucks. His father created a rink on the front lawn so that the boys could practice as much as possible, and according to family legend, the family sometimes packed snow onto the living room carpet so the brothers could practice indoors when it was dark. The young Lemieux was friends with future NHLers Mark Bergevin and Robert Bourdais. Lemieux started his career with the Laval Voisins of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. When he was drafted at age 15, he declared that he would break league records. In the 1983 Euro 84 QMJHL season, Lemieux broke the league record for points in a season with 282 and 70 games. In his last game of the regular season, Lemieux needed three goals to tie Guy Lafleur's record of 130 goals a Euro. He scored six goals and added six assists in a 16-4 victory. 
although he played in the 1983 World Junior Hockey Championships, Lemieux did not play for the Canadian Juniors in 1984 because he disliked how coach Dave King treated him in the previous tournament. He also did not want to break up his junior season. He finished his QMJHL career with 562 points in three seasons. Before the 1984 NHL entry draft, Lemieux announced he wanted to play for whoever drafted him. He and his agent were deadlocked with the Penguins and could not negotiate a contract. Because of this, when the Penguins called his name as the first overall draft pick, he did not shake general manager Eddie Johnston's hand or don the Penguins jersey, as is NHL tradition. He claimed he was upset about the contract negotiation, and said that Pittsburgh doesn't want him bad enough. Even though the draft was held in Montreal, over 3,000 fans viewed a broadcast in Pittsburgh's Civic Arena Euro a typical Penguins game drew less than 7,000 fans at the time. After the draft, Johnston signed Lemieux to a two-year contract for $600,000, plus a $150,000 bonus for signing. Playing career, 1984 Euro 1988, early career, at the start of Lemieux's career, the Penguins were in financial turmoil and there were rumors of relocation. The team had declared bankruptcy after the 1974 Euro 75 season, and by 1983, they were averaging fewer than 7,000 fans per game a Euro less than half of the Civic Arena's capacity. They had not made the playoffs since 1982, and had not had a winning season since 1979. He debuted on October 11, 1984, against the Boston Bruins and on his first shift, he stole the puck from Hall of Fame defenseman Ray Bork and scored a goal with his first NHL shot against Pete Peters. Later that season, Lemieux played in the NHL All-Star Game and became the first rookie to be named the All-Star Game's most valuable player. Despite missing seven games during the season, Lemieux scored 100 points and won the Calder Memorial Trophy as the Rookie of the Year. The next season, Lemieux finished second in league scoring with 141 points, behind Wayne Gretzky's NHL record 215 points. He won the Lester B. Pearson Award as the NHL's best regular season player as voted by his peers. Lemieux missed 17 games of the 1986 Euro 87 NHL Euro his point production slipped, and the Penguins once again failed to make the playoffs. However, he played in the Canada Cup during the summer of 1987 and set a tournament record 11 goals in nine games. His last goal, which clinched the Canadian victory, broke a tie with the Soviet team with 1.26 remaining in the third period. Lemieux cited his Canada Cup experience as the reason for his elevated play later on, stating, Remember, I was only 21 years old at the time. To be around guys like Wayne, Gretzky and Mark Messier and Paul Coffey was a tremendous learning experience. By the 1987 Euro 88 season, Wayne Gretzky had won seven consecutive Art Ross trophies for leading the league in points. That season, Fueled by his Canada Cup experience, Lemieux scored 168 points and won his first NHL scoring title. He also won his first Hart Memorial Trophy as the league's most valuable player to his team, and the All-Star Game MVP award after a record-setting six-point game. Despite Lemieux's success, the Penguins finished one point out of the playoffs. They did, however, have their first winning record in nine years. 1988 Euro 1992, 199 points. In the 1988 Euro 89 season, Lemieux led the league with 114 assists and 85 goals for 199 points. He is the only player to approach Gretzky's mammoth 200 plus point seasons. Lemieux finished the season a close second to Gretzky in voting for the Hart Trophy, and set several milestones and records in the process becoming the second player to score 70-plus goals in two seasons, the fourth player to score 50 goals in 50 games, and the only player to score 13 shorthanded goals in one season. Buoyed in part by Lemieux performance, the Penguins made the playoffs for the first time in seven years. Perhaps the defining moment of Lemieux's season was on December 31, 1988, in a game against the New Jersey Devils. In that game, 
Lemieux scored eight points and became the only player in NHL history to score a goal in all five possible game situations in the same game, even strength, power play, shorthanded, penalty shot, and empty net. Lemieux had another five-goal, eight-point performance in a 10-7 victory during the postseason against the Philadelphia Flyers on April 25, 1989. He tied the NHL record for most goals and points in a postseason game, most goals in a postseason period, and most assists in a postseason period. However, the Penguins lost the series for a Euro 3. During the 1989 Euro 90 NHL season, Lemieux scored at least one point in 46 consecutive games before he ended the streak by leaving a game due to injury. The streak's length was second only to Gretzky's 51 game streak. Lemieux won his third All-Star Game MVP with a four-goal performance. Although he missed 21 games, he finished fourth in the league in scoring with 123 points. The Penguins did not qualify for the playoffs. Lemieux's back injury progressed into a herniated disc, which subsequently developed an infection. On July 11, 1990, Lemieux underwent back surgery to fix the disc and he missed 50 games in the 1990 Euro 91 NHL season. In his absence, the Penguins acquired players Joe Mullen, Larry Murphy, Ron Francis, and Ulf Samuelson in hopes of becoming serious contenders for the Stanley Cup. Despite significant back pain, Lemieux scored 16 goals and 28 assists for the playoff lead, and led the Penguins over the Minnesota North Stars for their first Stanley Cup. Lemieux won the Conn Smythe Trophy as the playoffs' most valuable player. His 44 playoff points ranked second only to Wayne Gretzky's 47 in 1984 Euro 85. One of the most famous goals in NHL history is the goal Lemieux scored in the second period of Game 2. Receiving the puck between the Penguins' blue line and the center line, Lemieux skated solo into the North Star zone facing two defensemen and the goalie by himself. Mario skirted the puck through one of the defender's legs, skated around him, forced the goalie to commit left, then switched the puck to his backhand side and sliding the puck in before crashing into the net himself. The brief video of the goal has been since featured on recent Stanley Cup promo ads by the NHL, as well as the opening montage of Hockey Night in Canada broadcasts. Lemieux played only 64 games in his injury plagued 1991 Euro 92 season. Despite missing several games, he won his third Art Ross Trophy with 131 points. During the second game of the Patrick Division Finals, the New York Rangers Adam Graves slashed and broke Lemieux's left hand. Lemieux missed five games, but still led the playoffs with 16 goals and 18 assists. The Penguins swept the Chicago Blackhawks in the Stanley Cup Final, and Lemieux won the Conn Smythe Trophy for the second consecutive postseason. Mario racked up an astonishing 78 combined points during the 1991 and 1992 playoffs, a two-year total second only to Gretzky's 82 points as his Oilers won their first and second Stanley Cup titles in 1984 and 1985. 1992 Euro 1997, Cancer, Return, and Retirement The Penguins started the 1992 Euro 93 season well, and Lemieux set a franchise record with at least one goal in 12 consecutive games, from October 6 to November 1. He was on pace to challenge Gretzky's records of 92 goals in one season and 215 points in one season, until January 12, 1993, when he made the shocking announcement that he had been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. He was forced to undergo energy-draining aggressive radiation treatments, leaving his career and possibly his survival in doubt. He missed two months of play, and without him, the Penguins struggled. When he returned, he was 12 points behind Buffalo's Pat LaFontaine in the scoring race. On the day of his last radiation treatment, Lemieux flew to Philadelphia to play against the Flyers, where he scored a goal and an assist in a 5-4 loss. Before the game Lemieux earned a standing ovation from Philadelphia fans a Euro a rare occurrence for any visiting player, much less a Pittsburgh athlete. With Lemieux back, Pittsburgh won an NHL record 17 consecutive games to finish first overall for the first time in franchise history. 
their 119 points are still a franchise record. Lemieux scored at an incredible pace, notching an average 2.67 points per game a Euro the third highest points per game for a season, behind only Wayne Gretzky's 1983 a Euro 84 and 1985 a Euro 86 averages of 2.77 and 2.69, respectively. Lemieux won his second straight and fourth overall scoring title, finishing with 160 points in 60 games, beating out La Fontaine by 12 points. The Penguins dispatched the New Jersey Devils in the first round in five games, but were upset by the New York Islanders in seven. During the series against the Islanders, Lemieux was repeatedly knocked out of his game by Darius Kasparatis. After the season, Lemieux was awarded his second Pearson Trophy, and his first Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy, given to the player who best exemplifies perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to hockey. On July 23, 1993, Lemieux underwent his second back surgery, this time to repair a herniated muscle. He missed the first 10 games of the season to recover from surgery, and missed 48 more games from back problems. After the season, he announced that he would take a leave of absence because of fatigue brought on by his radiation treatment. Lemieux returned for the 1995 Euro 96 season. And on October 26, 1995, he scored his 500th career goal in his 605th game, played against the New York Islanders. Lemieux was second only to Gretzky, who scored 500 goals in 575 games. Lemieux finished the season with 69 goals and 92 assists to lead the league. He became the seventh player to win three Hart trophies, and the fourth player to win five Art Ross trophies. Despite his return, the Penguins fell to the Florida Panthers in the Eastern Conference Final in seven games. The next season, Lemieux, playing against the Vancouver Canucks, scored his 600th career goal in his 719th game, and went on to put up his 10th career 100-point season, both the second most in history after Wayne Gretzky's 600 goals in 718 games and 15 100-point seasons. In his last game against his hometown Montreal, Lemieux tied an NHL record for most goals in a period, with four goals in the third. Lemieux won his sixth scoring title with 122 points. The Penguins qualified for the playoffs again, but were eliminated in five games by the Eric Lindros-led Philadelphia Flyers during the first round. Lemieux scored one goal and earned an assist in his final game, played in Philadelphia where he skated around the ice after the final buzzer and received a standing ovation from the Philadelphia crowd. Upon his first retirement, Lemieux became the only player to retire from the NHL with a greater than two points per game average. On November 17, 1997, Lemieux was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, becoming the ninth player in history to have the mandatory three-year waiting period waived. 1997 Euro 2000, post-retirement, the Penguins' free spending ways of the early 1990s came at a high price, however. Through most of the 1990s, Penguins owners Howard Baldwin and Morris Beltsberg badly mismanaged the team, owing over $90 million to various creditors. As a consequence, the Penguins asked Lemieux and other prominent players to defer their salaries. The team was also forced to make several trades to stop the bleeding, most of which backfired. The situation became so dire that the Penguins were forced to declare bankruptcy in November 1998. For most of the 1998 Euro 99 NHL season, it looked like the Penguins would either move out of town or fold altogether. At this point, Lemieux stepped in with an unusual proposal to buy the team. Years of deferred salaries, adding up to $32.5 million, had made him the Penguins' largest creditor. He proposed to convert $20 million of his deferred salary into equity, enough to give him controlling interest. He also promised to keep the team in Pittsburgh. The U.S. Bankruptcy Court gave preliminary approval to Lemieux bid on June 24. Lemieux later said that he would have put in a bid even if he had not been owed the deferred salary. The NHL's Board of Governors approved his application for ownership on September 1, 1999. Two days later, after Lemieux cut a deal with Fox Sports Pittsburgh and Spectacle Management Group, 
the court gave final approval to Lemieux's reorganization plan, allowing him to formally assume control. This made the then retired star the first former NHL player to become majority owner of his former team. Lemieux assumed the posts of president, chairman, and CEO of the Penguins. Lemieux's plan was designed to pay everyone the organization owed. In fact, the bankruptcy court approved his bid in part because of the prospect that the debt would be fully reiterated a euro a rare feat, considering that unsecured creditors typically get only pennies on the dollar. In August 2005, the Post Gazette reported that the Penguins had indeed fully paid the principal it owed to each of its creditors, both secured and unsecured. Lemieux was given much of the credit, according to the article, for his insistence that everyone owed be paid. He has since relinquished the president's and CEO's posts to Ken Sawyer, but remains the team's principal owner and chairman. In January 2006, Lemieux confirmed the team was for sale, but would consider offers only from those who will keep the team in Pittsburgh, 2000 Euro 2006, out of retirement. Late in 2000, there were rumors that Lemieux was attempting a comeback. Upon announcing his comeback, Lemieux also signed a career-spanning deal with Nike to wear their equipment on the ice, and to endorse their products off the ice. This deal would include Lemieux endorsing their line of footwear and their golf equipment. It is said that the deal was worth $500,000 a season and would remain in effect for the rest of his career. On December 27, 2000, he returned to the NHL against the Toronto Maple Leafs. The game was nationally broadcast on ESPN2 in the US and on Hockey Night in Canada. Lemieux proved that his scoring touch had not disappeared by scoring a goal and three points, including an assist 33 seconds into the first shift of his return. While Jeruma Ajagia remained captain of the Penguins, Lemieux was named captain of the North American All-Stars during the mid-season All-Star game in Denver, Colorado. Despite playing in only 43 games in 2000 Euro 01, Lemieux scored 76 points to finish 26th in scoring, finishing the season with the highest points per game average that season among NHL players. In fact, he had the highest points per game average amongst NHL players for the entire period from his 2001 return until his final retirement in 2006. Lemieux was one of the three finalists for the Hart Memorial Trophy and Lester B. Pearson NHLPA Awards and earned a selection on the postseason NHL All-Star second team. Lemieux led the Penguins in the postseason and led in playoff scoring for much of it. His team surprised many by going to the Eastern Conference Finals, knocking off the higher-seeded Washington Capitals and Buffalo Sabres along the way in six and seven games, respectively. The Penguins lost in five games to the top-seeded New Jersey Devils, as their players held Lemieux and J.A. Gio without a goal that series. Lemieux finished Game 5 in the penalty box after slashing the Devils' John Madden. Afterwards Lemieux signed his stick and handed it to a young fan. Before the start of the 2001 Euro 2 season, Pittsburgh was forced to trade most of their expensive players so the team plummeted to the bottom of the NHL and missed the playoffs in each of these four seasons. Lemieux again resumed the captaincy, as Jeruma Ajagia was sent to the Washington Capitals. However, Lemieux only appeared in 24 games, partially due to injuries that would also plague him for the next three seasons. He also skipped some Penguins games in 2001 February so he could be in condition to play what would be his only chance at the Olympics in his career. However, Lemieux played only one more game after the Salt Lake City Olympics before being out for the rest of the season due to a nagging hip problem, leading one Pittsburgh columnist to demand that Lemieux apologize for making Team Canada his priority. Radio show host Mark Madden said he would donate $6,600 to the Mario Lemieux Foundation if the hockey great ever scored off a fashion off. On December 23, 2002, the Penguins played the Buffalo Sabres in Pittsburgh and Lemieux, who was aware of the challenge, made good on it when he scored the game-winning goal right off a of off during the third period. In 2002 Euro 03, at age 37, Lemieux led the National Hockey League in scoring for most of the season but missed most of the games towards the end of the schedule and finished eighth in scoring with 91 points in only 67 games. 
Lemieux missed all but 10 games during the 2003 Euro 04 season. After the lockout concluded, Lemieux returned to the ice for the 2005 Euro 06 season. Hopes for the Penguins were high due to the salary cap and revenue sharing, which enabled the team to compete in the market for several star players. Another reason for optimism was the Penguins winning the lottery for the first draft pick, enabling them to select Sidney Crosby. Lemieux opened up his home to Crosby to help the rookie settle in Pittsburgh, and served as Crosby's mentor. Player owner status Lemieux's unique status as player and owner placed him in a potential conflict of interest with respect to NHL labor negotiations. Because he was also an owner, Lemieux was no longer a member of the National Hockey League Players Association, although he still paid union dues to maintain his pension. By agreement with the NHLPA, Lemieux was paid the average league salary of about $1.4 million and it was from this amount that his union dues were calculated and deducted. He did not vote in owners' meetings, delegating this role to a Penguins vice president. He suggested that the NHL adopt a salary structure similar to the National Football League, which has a hard salary cap. Lemieux and fellow NHL team executive Gretzky brought the parties together in a last-ditch effort to save what remained of the 2004 Euro 05 season, but no agreement was reached and the season was lost. 2006 a Euro present, second retirement, on January 24, 2006, Lemieux announced his second and permanent retirement from professional hockey at the age of 40. This followed a half-season in which he struggled not only with the increased speed of the new NHL, but also with atrial fibrillation, which caused him to experience irregular heartbeats. Although he had put up points at a pace that most NHL forwards would be very content with in his last season, Lemieux still remarked that I can no longer play at the level I was accustomed to in the past. In October 2006, Lemieux's ownership group announced that it had reached an agreement to sell the Penguins to Research in Motion chairman and co-CEO Jim Balsillie. However, Balsillie unexpectedly rescinded his offer two months later after an apparent dispute with the NHL Board of Governors over purchasing conditions, despite Balsillie having earlier pledged to the board that he would not relocate the team. Lemieux was offended that Balsillie had pulled out at last minute and initially refused to return Balsillie's deposit saying that it was in breach of their agreement. On March 13, 2007, Lemieux's ownership group announced a final agreement for a new multi-purpose arena, eventually to be named Consul Energy Center, to be built across the street from Mellon Arena. The deal keeps the Penguins in Pittsburgh for at least 30 years. Lemieux was instrumental in negotiating this deal, despite outside efforts to move the team to Kansas City. It was later revealed that Lemieux had visited Kansas City only to put pressure on the city and state to push through plans for the new arena. The Penguins returned to the playoffs, losing in five games to the Ottawa Senators in 2007, and making the finals in 2008 where they lost in six games to the Detroit Red Wings. On June 12, 2009, Lemieux won his third Stanley Cup. This time as an owner as the Penguins won a rematch with the Red Wings in the 2009 Stanley Cup Finals, in seven games. International play, Lemieux played for Canada in the 1983 World Junior Championships, 1985 World Championships, 1987 Canada Cup, 2002 Winter Olympics and the 2004 World Cup of Hockey. At the 2002 Winter Olympics, having been selected by Gretzky to captain the roster, Lemieux led the Canadian men's team into Salt Lake City, United States. The team had failed to win a gold medal at the Olympics in 50 years but were still considered favorites to win. Lemieux was second to Joe Sackick in team scoring with six points in five games, and led the team to gold by defeating the United States 5-2 in the final game. Lemieux showcased his amazing hockey intelligence during the gold medal game against the United States. With Team Canada trailing 1-0 in the first period, Lemieux made one of the most famous and savvy plays in Olympic hockey history. After a cross-ice pass from Lemieux in the neutral zone, Canadian defenseman Chris Pronger carried the puck across the blue line into the American zone, and fired a pass across the zone. Lemieux then faked like he was receiving the pass and proceeded to take a shot at the net, all while letting the puck slide through his legs 
knowing he had Ford Paul Carras streaking behind him. Lemieux's fake caused American goalie Mike Richter to lunge in Lemieux's direction, and thus created a wide open net for Carra to fire the puck in, as he received the pass from Pronger after Lemieux let it go to Carrier. During the tournament, his hip injury required several pain-killing injections to keep him on the ice, and he only played one more NHL game after the Olympics before being lost for the season. He would then play in his final international event, once again captaining Team Canada to victory in the 2004 World Cup of Hockey, where he'd be Team Canada's fourth leading scorer, despite being 38 years old, having injuries, and playing in just 10 NHL games that year. Lemieux was also selected by Team Canada for the 2006 Winter Olympics, but declined due to health. Personal life, the youngest of three sons of Jean Guy and Pirette Lemieux, he was raised by his stay-at-home mother, and his father, who was a construction worker. Off the ice, Lemieux smoked a half a pack of cigarettes daily. He finally gave it up, perhaps due to Hodgkin's disease. Mario Lemieux married Nathalie Aslin on June 26, 1993. They have four children, Lauren, Stephanie, Austin Nicholas and Alexa. Austin was born prematurely, weighing just two pounds, but he is perfectly healthy today. The family lives in the affluent Pittsburgh suburb of Zwickley. Lemieux has opened his home to young Penguin stars such as Mark Andrew Copyright Fleury and Sidney Crosby until they settled into the Pittsburgh area as he did with Jeruma Ajajia following the 1990 NHL draft when he lived in Mount Lebanon, Pennsylvania. He is a naturalized American citizen and on March 30, 2007, Lemieux, a registered Republican, contributed $2,300 to Democratic U.S. Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton's 2008 presidential campaign fund. In the past, he has also made contributions to the re-election fund of Republican former U.S. Senator Rick Santorum. On June 17, 2009, Lemieux was given the honorable title night from Quebec Premier Jean Charest. On September 3, 2010, Lemieux was given the Order of Canada from then-Governor-General Michael Allegin. Charitable causes, he created the Mario Lemieux Foundation during the same year he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma to fund medical research projects. Additionally, the foundation supports other organizations, including the University of Pittsburgh Cancer Institute, the McGowan Institute for Regenerative Medicine, the Leukemia Society, the Lupus Foundation and the Children's Home of Pittsburgh. In 2007, he was among the well-known athletes who founded Athletes for Hope, a charitable organization which helps professional athletes get involved in charitable causes and inspires non-athletes to volunteer and support the community. With their son, Austin, being born prematurely in 1996, the Lemieux family spent quite a bit of time in the hospital with Austin. The family found that the older children didn't have a place to play in the hospital. Using the Lemieux Foundation resources, driven by Nathalie's idea and vision, founded a program called Austin's Playroom Project. The project builds playrooms in various hospitals across the U.S. to give both children who are patients and their healthy siblings a place to play and be kids, and concentrate on being normal and healing. On January 31, 2014 the Foundation announced the opening of the 29th Austin Euro Unregistered Trademark S Playroom at the new Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton, Camp Pendleton, CA. Legacy. Lemieux holds a considerable number of records. Two records, had their first ten listings as either Gretzky or Lemieux. Absences from pro hockey due to Hodgkin's lymphoma and various injuries shortened Lemieux's playing time in the NHL, which has led many to speculate that his career totals would have been far higher had he been healthy throughout his career. A statue in his honor, created by sculptor Bruce Wolfe, was erected in Pittsburgh on March 7, 2012 outside of Consul Energy Center. The statue is modeled after a play in a 1988 game against the New York Islanders where Lemieux slipped in between Islanders defenseman Rich Pylon and Jeff Norton to score a goal in a 5 Euro 3 Penguins victory. Both Pylon and Norton, as well as the Islanders, are unbranded on their portion of the statue. Records, NHL, 5 goals in different ways in one game, not an officially recognized NHL record. Short-handed goals, season, goals, period, 
only player to score 30-plus power play goals in two different seasons, one of only two players to score 10 or more shorthanded goals in two different seasons. The other, Wayne Gretzky. Most goals scored or assisted on, season, only player with three eight-point games, only player with three eight-point games in one season, four career five-goal games, best goals per game in the regular season and playoffs at point seven five zero. Third best goals per game in the regular season at point seven five four. All star game career goals goals in a single game points in a single game MVP awards playoffs goals in a single period goals in a single game points in a single period points in a single game best goals per game in the playoffs at point seven one zero. Pittsburgh Penguins games goals career assists career. Points, career, longest goal scoring streak, longest point streak, goals, season, assists, season, points, season, goals, game, assists, game, points, game, career statistics, regular season and playoffs, international, NHL All Star Games, awards. Hockey Hall of Famer Euro 1997, Stanley Cup champion Euro 1991, 1992. 2009, Olympic gold medalist a Euro 2002, Hart Memorial Trophy a Euro 1988, 1993, 1996, Art Ross Trophy a Euro 1988, 1989, 1992, 1993, 1996, 1997, Con Smythe Trophy a Euro 1991, 1992, Lester B. Pearson Award a Euro 1986, 1988, 1993, 1996, NHL Plus-Minus. Award a Euro 1993, Calder Memorial Trophy a Euro 1985, Chrysler Dodge NHL Performer of the Year a Euro 1985, 1986, 1987, Dapper Dan Athlete of the Year a Euro 1986, 1989, Lester Patrick Trophy a Euro 2000, Bill Masterton Trophy a Euro 1993. NHL All-Star Game MVP a Euro 1985, 1988, 1990, NHL First All-Star Team a Euro 1988, 1989, 1993, 1996, 1997, NHL Second All-Star Team. A Euro 1986, 1987, 1992, 2001, NHL All-Rookie Team a Euro 1985. CHL Player of the Year, 1984, ESPN Hockey Player of the Decade a Euro 2000, ESPY Award NHL Player of the Year a Euro 1993, 1994, 1998, Lou Marsh Trophy a Euro 1993, in 1998, he was ranked number 4 on the Hockey News list of the 100 Greatest Hockey Players, the highest ranking French-Canadian player. Inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame in 2004. His number 66 has been retired by the Pittsburgh Penguins, Team Canada, and Laval Titan. In 2009, he was made an Officer of the Order of Canada for his contributions as one of Hockey Euro Unregistered Trademark's Most Gifted Players, as an inspirational role model and mentor, and for supporting charitable initiatives through the Mario Lemieux Foundation. Cultural References Lemieux had a hockey video game, Mario Lemieux Hockey for the Sega Genesis, named after him. Additionally, he was featured as the cover athlete on EA Sports 2002 edition of its popular NHL series for multiple platforms. Mario Lemieux was mentioned in the hip-hop group A Tribe Called Quest's track Keep It Rollin', which was released on the group's third studio album, Midnight Marauders. On the track, rapper 5DAWG sings, I skate on your crew, like Mario Lemieux. Canadian hardcore band Comeback Kid are named after a newspaper article which nicknamed Mario Lemieux the Comeback Kid. Lemieux appears in NHL 12, 13, and 14 in the game's Be a Legend mode. Celebrity Golf Lemieux is a regular competitor at the American Century Championship, the annual competition to determine the best golfers among American sports and entertainment celebrities. He won the tournament in 1998 and has a total of two top ten finishes. The tournament, televised by NBC in July, 
is played at Edgewood Tahoe Golf Course in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. See also 50 goals in 50 games, list of NHL players with 500 goals, list of NHL players with 1,000 assists, list of NHL statistical leaders, notable families in the NHL, list of select cases of Hodgkin's disease, further reading, Stewart, Mark. Mario Lemieux, Own the Ice. Millbrook Press. ISBN A 0 7613 7A, O'Shea, Tim. Mario Lemieux. Chelsea House Publishers. ISBN A 0 7910 6307-0A, References. External links, Mario Lemieux's Biography at Legends of Hockey, Career Stats, Mario Lemieux's player profile at NHL.com, The Mario Lemieux Foundation, CBC Digital Archives A Euro Becoming Magnificent Interview with a Young Mario Lemieux, Mario Lemieux's Career Statistics at the Internet Hockey Database.